Hey everybody, it's Tom Cherry Holmes with the Fujinet Project, and I want to show something a little unusual. Um, Scott Holder, who is a um, developer who has been messing around with the Fujinet and the end device, has basically what started off as an offhand joke became reality when he wrote, uh, he, is, he is actually in the middle of writing, it's almost complete, uh, a... Uh, an IRC chat program, but it's written in Atari Basic, and I'm going to take and show where things are with it so far. We'll start by going to atariapps.errata online and going to the networking folder, and we will load up Chitari 0.8, the IRC client. We'll mount it read-only and drive one. It boots up entirely by itself. We want basic to be enabled, so don't hold down the option too long. And as we can see, we boot right into it. But just to show you that we are not messing around here, just to show this is an IRC client written entirely in Atari BASIC with no machine language or anything else. It's using the facilities built into the in-handler to do everything that needs to happen to initiate the TCP connection to the IRC server, to get the various strings from the server, and then BASIC takes and parses the protocol for the strings and sends back the appropriate messages. Everything is happening entirely in Atari BASIC. Let's have a look at it. We start by going ahead and entering a nickname. Might as well use that one. And I will go to Freenode. We'll go to the default IRC client port of 6667. And we will go to the Atari channel by default. Now we'll see these first three ident messages pounce back. And once we're done with this, we find our server messages coming across. And once the server messages finish, it will automatically register us with the server and put us into the appropriate channel. And there we are. We've joined the channel, so now we can listen up to what's happening. We've gotten a user list. Yeah. Like I said, it's still early days, but we can see that things are working here. We are communicating with an IRC server. We're getting messages back. And within a few moments, we will actually get some, start getting some messages from the channel. Like I'll send one right now. I have a web chat open, or I did at least. Let me see if I still have it open. Uh, yes, I do. Can you write from FujiNet TNFS server to a real floppy? Yes, you can. And we'll reply to that. And as we can see right there, it's working, bouncing back and forth. Now I'll send something from over here. And as we can see, it's working exactly as it needs to. So there we go. We have an IRC client running in Atari BASIC using the end device. 
And for a moment of perspective, keep in mind that this has been written over the space of roughly a week. Think about that. Amazing, isn't it? I really hope to see what some of you guys can take and come up with in Atari Basic. You can take and look at this code to see how it works. You can look at some of the other examples like Netcat and the like to see how they work. And I will be taking and improving the documentation on the wiki over time here so that you guys can understand that all this is happening literally by doing the standard CIO commands, open, close, get, put, XIO, to do everything that you need to do to communicate with the network outside. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and quit here. And there we go. And there, there's, there we end. And uh, I'll leave this one here. Short, simple, and sweet. But I hope definitely interesting. So until next time, guys. Have fun. <laughs>